Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. Entertainment to tell. I'm coming down with another video and happy Easter to all my entertainers. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let me know what y'all think about this video. Okay, I wanted to talk about the James Wright Chanel uh podcast that he did with um Amber. Uh, make sure you guys check out the full podcast if you guys haven't, because this has been the first time he's publicly like spoken out about it on like a platform about the whole. Krishan drama and some of the comments to me, it, it blows me how dumb people could be. It just blows me. Okay, so first during the podcast, he starts talking about like being an influencer and the pressures of it, how people think like you're like the richest nigga because you're on a platform and just look like you got it like that. I agree hundred percent. People sometimes do the same to me like they look at how i dress and like how i put myself together they just think you know the richest no <laughs> there are some people that just know how to work with what they have don't mean they got everything or they got cash out the wazoo like the internet i'm telling you guys is like one of the biggest facades because the stuff that i've seen and heard is <laughs> Ah, like, y'all favorite bad girl is broke. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> That's all I would say. Like, the girls that don't know. But it's like, don't think that these influencers and stuff got it like that. Because they really don't. They really don't. So, now, the other host is named Jacob. So, he starts talking about how you, like, people call. And, like, they start tapping into a whole lot of stuff during the podcast. I'm not going to recap the whole thing, just, you know, up until the Krishan situation. Um, they start talking about, like, people that call to complain and um, how James, you know, he doesn't like people to listen to people complain and stuff because he's still dealing with his own issues that he's uh, dealing with. So people that call to complain kind of irritate him because, you know, he got his own stuff going on or whatever. And then we jump straight into the Krishan. Thank you, Jacob, for not beating around a bush, okay, or beating around a bush, as we can say. So he basically says, hey, like, what about the whole Krishan drama? Now, before this, he also talks about, like, they start talking about, like, other platforms and stuff. I did put a community post. What platforms do y'all want me to see on? Do y'all want me to be on? I'm already on Twitch. Of course, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram, but I don't go live. So Instagram don't pay. So it's like, <laughs> like I say, like they don't pay. So yeah, uh, I'm already on Twitch. Make sure you guys go over there and follow and subscribe on Ebner Entertainment. And of course, I'm on here and have two other channels. So make sure I go and check out those channels as well. But I want to hop on another platform. Right now, it's narrowing down to Facebook or Vigo. So because even Amber was like, oh, Instagram don't be paying like that. Just the coin isn't there on Instagram. Which I'm like, I heard that before because Meta is like going broke. Anyway, we get to the Krishan drama. Now, there is a clip that's going viral where he talks about it a little bit here, which I'm going to play. And he talks about the whole situation and how it's been very traumatic for him. There is a situation that you went through. I and um, it was very shocking. Mm -hmm. That's something that you had to go through you know, publicly. publicly. You didn't really have right. time to cope. It was out right. quick. It was out very quickly. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I've been getting emotional when I talk about this. Um, because because right. I did not understand. Oh, okay, it's all over the place. Okay, so I'm I'm still trying to figure out why this happened. Why did this happen to me? I wasn't in an argument with anyone. I wasn't going back and forth or arguing with anyone. None of that took place. Now, what I walked in on was that with mm -hmm. other people, not me. When I got in there, I was consoling the person, like, because the person was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? So some of the comments I've seen guys say, oh, my God, he's leaving so much pieces out of the story. For y'all that don't know, because I wasn't there, but people that were there that, one, don't even work for Tamar, and two, told the story from a non-biased standpoint, basically says that he was... Uh, Krishan was mad because she had missed her call to go up there and twerk or do it, survive, whatever. And 
he walked into her saying, yeah, uh, uh, you guys did give me my uh, cue. I was right there. I was right there. So that's where he was. Uh, he She even, I guess, cued to him and said, no, uh, wasn't I right there to James? Wasn't I right there? And he basically was like, what's going on? Why are you crying? Et cetera, et cetera. And then he's like, no, you weren't right there. You weren't right there. So Krishan goes, say I'm not right there, that I wasn't right there, nigga. Say I wasn't right there, nigga. Just say you're scared, baby. I'm playing. She didn't say that, but y'all get the gist. Basically, like, say it again type-ish, because I was right there. And bam! Boom! Okay? And then the teeth knocked out, etc. This has been confirmed by many of people that were in that room. So I doubt they all came together and said, let's say this happened. Because, like I said, some of the people that have said the story do not even work for Tamar. So they don't owe her any loyalty. Okay? Also, a lot of people are saying, why did he file like a month later? Y'all clearly do not understand how court proceedings go. Okay? Just to clear that up. What happened? And when the story got explained to what happened, I was like, oh. Everybody's mouth literally dropped. When I, like, came back to it, everybody's mouth was still like, this is the, the part I want to talk about, the processing part. I would wake up, wake up out of my sleep crying. Shut up. And not knowing why. So when I contacted the therapist, she said, it's trauma. Trauma will wake you up out of your sleep. Mentally, I was thinking about it in my sleep. Right. Because I still don't know. I don't bother nobody. I don't argue with people. I don't get online and cut up and do what mm -hmm. everybody else is doing. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying not to get emotional. Can we get some tissues? I'm trying not to get emotional. It's a couple of days after I was like, Lord, I'm, you suck. I didn't understand why this happened to me. Because right, right. the thing is, I could have lost my life. You know the right hit. You, you could be out of here. Wow. It could have right. been a lot worse. Brain dead, vegetable, right. anything. Yeah. And we know. Now, I don't know if I lost your life, but you could have been a vegetable. You could have turned into a pickle. <laughs> but I don't know about losing your life, though. But I get what he's saying. Well, that you and Tamar are very good friends. Mm -hmm. And she eventually did speak out. But a lot of people were saying, why didn't she speak out a lot sooner? Now, for you, how did you feel like when she did speak out? Did you feel like she did the right thing for you as um, far as the situation? I wasn't going to speak out. Even a week later, she was still in shock. She called me every day, every second, every minute, every hour, every like. Because sometimes in situations like that, you don't know what to say. You don't. Yeah. Okay, so the comments really pissed me off because <laughs> this, we're going to read some of the comments in a little bit. But I just see people saying, oh, he should have uh, hit her back. If he would have hit her back and got jumped, y'all would have called him all types of fags and said he started it. Let's give it a butt. Like, let's really give it a butt. Oh, he should have stayed in, in, in a man's business. He he should never been in women's business. That's how the niggas, that's how the gays, blah, 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 blah. all types of fags. Y'all automatically blamed him. Thank God he didn't hit her back. It wouldn't have been me, though, because she would have got hit back. Sorry. I don't care if she was whoop my, whooping my ass or not. You getting something done to you because you're not about to knock my teeth out. Are you kidding me? It would have been a wrap for Krishan, okay? She would have turned into a rock. Something would have had to be done. I would have got the lick back. It, it might not even have been there, but something later on would happen. But my whole thing is... It bothers me when people are saying that because had the situation turned out differently, you guys would not have the same reaction. Y'all wouldn't have any sympathy for him. Y'all wouldn't say good job. Y'all wouldn't say anything. Y'all just be calling him all type of slurs and stuff in the comments. So it's so stupid to me when I read some of the comments because not everybody reacts the same to getting hit. Like I said, it wouldn't have been me, but people like a James, you could tell he hasn't been a whole lot of squabbles uh, and fights. So he's the type that was put into shock after he hit, she hit her with all them rings on her hand. That's why his tooth ended up um, getting knocked out. Now, in this uh, podcast, he was talking about how he gets up in the middle of the morning, uh, at the middle of the night, starts crying and weeping, and how it's really, really traumatic. But he still wants to press charges. For the people that are saying this is a cash grab, a cash grab to me is when you purposefully put yourself in a situation to get coin. Nobody put a gun to her head to for her to hit him. So how is that a cash grab? If a big celebrity hits you and you had to spend money 
for therapy, because clearly he, this thing isn't therapy, get money for dental treatments, etc. Would you not try to sue or get money? Y'all just leave it as it is and walk away? Let me know. Because a lot of y'all are hypocrites. Like, it kills me. If 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 LeBron James had to just push one of y'all niggas, y'all niggas was too. Like, come on. It, it's, it's just hilarious to me reading some of the comments. And I do believe because he is a feminine big gay guy, that that's why some of you guys are having some of the comments that you guys do. Okay? Now, uh, let's read some of the comments from Neighborhood Talk. Someone said, is big A grown man scared of little Krishan? I can't see what happened to men these days. You is a boy. You would have had a pass for hitting her back. But instead, it was a quick cash back grab. He was milking it. So if he would have hit her, y'all would have called him a faggot? Uh? Oh, okay. Y'all wouldn't have said he started it? Uh? Oh, okay. Oh, please. It was a punch. I got beat up by a big 12-ass, big 12-ass 12 12th grade boy when I was in sixth grade. But I'm not traumatized. And I slept perfectly fine that night. And that was my first time ever fighting anybody. That girl probably has been in a many of abusive relationships since then. So, you know, you might have slept good that night, but that trauma lived on in your life, I could bet. Before y'all start, everyone did grow up to fight like wild animals. It could be both traumatic and triggered to get attacked by someone no matter the size or gender. Okay? Someone said, if y'all watch Krishan on baddies, then y'all know Krishan is not going to swing at you for nothing. <laughs> She had to have been provoked. Something's got to give. <laughs> Clearly, this person didn't watch the full baddies episode. Because she hit Low. Because Low was talking about how people are late and how she calls them to be late. She Low didn't call her a bitch. Didn't call her a cut. Didn't say nothing. And she bowed. So what makes you think he not, she didn't do the same to him? It just kills me when I see some of these comments. Okay? Now, the podcast consisted of... Uh, just a whole lot of spirituality talk. And also, we found out this nigga got a son. I said, what? That's what shot me the most out of everything. I'm like, you have a son? You should have stuck about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I didn't know that. He did say he grew up in the South Central, which was another shock. Because a nigga from the South Central would have hit her back. Okay? But like I said, I'm glad he did not hit her back. Because I, I can guarantee you the situation would have been spun around to make him look like a villain. And to make him look like the typical messy guy. And I'm glad that it wasn't. So shout out uh, for him for that. Okay. Because now Krishan going to have to pay up. I do feel like Krishan needs to face legal ramifications for it, whether it be behind the bars or pay up that coinage. I don't think she's going to face any time behind the bars. I just don't. I think she's just going to have to pay up, to be honest. Um, and I think that's just going to be the end of that. And if Krishan had a nine, had a better team, they would have advised her to pay him before he could even file anything and have a conversation with him before any legal stuff was done. So you're not even in the risk of anything legally happening to you uh, jail time wise. That's just what a smart team would do and have him sign something that says he won't sue after you give him a certain amount. And an apology publicly. That's it. I swear it would have been that easy. This nigga praises God. Like his life depends on it, which is amazing, okay? So I could guarantee you he would have forgiven her had she been woman enough to just have a conversation with him and apologize publicly and privately. So I just feel like this situation went further than it should have because of Krishan's team and her uh, stupidity, okay? And that's really about it. It just it, it, it It's just funny to me reading some of the comments because it's like you guys have no clue what you guys are talking about because... It's hypocritical, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about um, this whole situation. Do you feel like Krishan should have to pay up? And also, do you um, believe the story that is told on his side, okay? Because it has been conferred by many of people. Leave your comments down below, and we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing. All that thing.